Hello out there in YouTube land. Welcome to my channel where I will show you how to obtain the things that you want in life without paying the retail price and the exorbitant markups that these companies are trying to get you to pay and drain you of your precious money in doing so. This time I'm going to talk to you about something that's probably near and dear to all of us because most of us do like to watch a good movie. And to watch good movies generally costs good money. Okay. And generally lots of us don't have time to go to the big movie theaters, which are nice. Lots of us want to go and sit in the comfort of our own homes eat our own food, be around our loved ones, and watch a good DVD movie. In order to get decent movies, of course, you have to go someplace and rent them. Well, there are lots of places that you can go rent them or buy them. And uh, I, sh I don't even have to go into those because all of you folks know where it is because most of you all are doing it. You probably have some stuff, some DVDs sitting on the table now that you've watched this evening. You know, in, in addition to sitting up and watching me run my mouth and talking about being cheap. Okay. Well, instead of going to the store and buying your videos, and instead of running around the corner to that little red thing out there and putting your credit card or debit card in there and having it spit out a DVD for you to watch and take it back the next day, I will show you where you can go and get DVD videos of all types absolutely free for you to take home for a few days, watch and enjoy, and then take back and not pay a dime for them. And you will be surprised at exactly where I'm talking about. Now, when I first, when I disclose this to you, you're going to go, ah, no, nah. if, if they have anything like that, it's going to be, it's going to be old fashioned, old time movies. Let me tell you, you need to get up to date. The place that I'm about to tell you that has these movies is right around the corner from you in most places. And you'd be surprised. They have all different types of movies, movies that you've just seen come out the movie theater. Movies that are dramas, documentaries, comedies, thrillers, horror things, anything for anybody's taste in movies. Well, most anybody's taste. They have generally clean stuff. If you want anything else like that, that, you know, the other kind of stuff, you get, you're going to have to go elsewhere. These These folks have general family entertainment type things. But getting back on the point, the main place where you need to go to obtain these things is your nearest local library. Yes, your library. Once again, your tax dollars at work. At your library, they have gobs of DVDs where you can go and check them out and see. And I'm not talking about old 1920s, 1930s, old stuff where people will dress funny, driving in old-fashioned cars and things like that. I'm talking about the very same stuff that you're seeing on cable TV and going to the movie theaters. This is what these folks have there. And you know how they get it? Lots of people donate it to the library. There are people who have huge movie collections that for some reason or other they decide to give to the library. Now their reasons are varied. Uh, some people who have estates and have large movie collections in the state, they pass on. And the heirs give the movies to the library along with other things too. Uh, generally, sometimes stores might go and donate to the library to take the tax deduction. Remember, you donate to, to organizations such as libraries and charities and stuff, you can write that stuff off. But that's another story when we talk about taxes and writing off and keep a lump of Sam out your pocket for getting your money too. This way of obtaining movies 
saves you tremendously because you can go in and of course depending on what library system you go to they have limits on movies but some places will let you get 10 15 20 movies at a time that's a lot of TV watching and for you folks out there in the rural areas where you can't pick up TV all that well you know this is an easy and economical way for you to go get movies for yourself and your children so that they can watch the things that you want them to watch and so that you can watch a few things that you can watch and not spend your hard-earned money doing so I mean it's a common sense way all the way around I've seen people go in and get stacks of movies for the kids recent stuff the same things that you see on cable TV on these kitty channels it's in your library and it's for free educational stuff entertainment stuff all kind of things it's there this isn't a promotional ad for the library this is practical practical information that you can use to enrich yourself and enrich your family remember my mantra don't spend any money unless you absolutely have to and in this case you're not spending anything just check the movies out watch them take them back now if you happen to keep them out over the five or six or seven or whatever it is days that are there you gotta pay a fine on it but still common sense will tell you if somebody's gonna let you have something for free take it look at it and bring it back don't be tacky about it anyway this is the uh, what I wanted to talk to you about today just a quick little talk to show you how to get something free which I know you're paying for this is something to uh, entertain you in addition to the other talk that I had about watching free satellite and cable television that I hope that you take a listen and look at uh, there are going to be other things that I'm going to discuss with you uh, for those people who are into satellite radio those uh, um, people who are into that type of thing there is a way to listen to a lot of the programs that are on that which I will discuss with you at a next talk now for that next talk you might have to have a cell phone to do this or a regular landline will do and a way to listen to it uh, without going and holding the thing up to your ear which is rather distasteful but we'll get all into that on the next thing around remember to like and share this video if you thought this information was helpful and enriches your life and keeps money in your pocket above all else keep money in your pocket remember to like and to share and above all else Share the wealth with your friends, neighbors, enemies too if you want to by highlighting the YouTube URL at the top of your browser bar up there, the thing that says HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash YouTube and yada 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 and a lot of Greek letters in there. Highlight it, right click, copy it, and then go to your Facebook, Twitter, all that. Put in a message saying, look this guy showed me how I can go get and rent DVD videos for free and no matter where you live you can do this too share the wealth guide them back to this video let them hear me for themselves trust me they will thank you many times over and if you post stuff like this on your Twitter and your Facebook page you'll get more followers also any good useful information instead of a lot of the silly junk that I see on Facebook and Twitter and all these other things give them something they can sink their teeth into share my videos because I'll show them some stuff that they can use and take to the bank right then anyway thanks for listening I'm not gonna hold you here and stay tuned and check back and see what other good stuff that I have to tell you to help enrich your life. Thanks for listening.